it's Mel here. I want to ask you, how in touch are you with your feelings? <laughs> if you like my ears, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Yes, I bought these for myself. They're not my son's. Um, I quite fancied them because I thought they're pretty cool. <laughs> they're just cool, aren't they? But they made me think about feelings, you know? It's like, these make me happy. And I think lots of us, you know, we like to feel happy. We like to feel content and confident and kind of that think we're in control of things, you know? And we look at people's feeds on social media and typically they're very positive. They are the little positive snippets, the highlights of people's lives that create this showreel, which looks like, hey, everyone else has got it sorted. They're they've nailed it. They don't do bad stuff. They don't have a, a shit time. But actually, when you think about it, you know, who are we to know what goes on behind Facebook and uh, and the closed doors of people's other lives, you know? And we will all be experiencing different emotions and difficult emotions. And the difficult emotions, I think, are still the ones that we're going to feel and experience regularly on a daily basis. You know, that's what the anxiety, the overwhelm, the low mood, there's just sort of the nah, the fed upness, the anger, the, the sadness, you know, the frustration. I think these are all typically regular part of our lives. But how we allow those feelings to affect us is something else completely. And I wanted to bring in the topic of emotional eating because I see it in terms of what I see on social media and out there in society is that it's a terrible thing to do. It's like, it's one of the worst things you could do. I mean, come on, get a grip. What, what the hell are you doing eating a whole packet of biscuits or, you know, drinking a whole bottle of wine or diving into the ice cream tub? Get yourself together, woman. That's like someone saying to you, hey, chin up, the worst will never happen. It doesn't, it doesn't help at all, does it? We need to find ways to more effectively feel our emotions, be okay with sitting them with them, as well as then being able to manage them so that it doesn't mean that we always have to turn to food. But hey, if we do, does it really matter that badly? Because we're told it's terrible in my book. No, it's not. The weird thing is I get quite excited about emotional eating because for me it's like there are clues in there there are clues that your body is trying to talk to you and tell you that it's having a shit time that it's having some a diff, some difficulty coping and that's okay because hey we're human beings we're not perfect we all make mistakes we don't all cope with things perfectly in life and sometimes we feel a bit shit and sometimes it's okay to sit in the shit, you know? Not forever, I get that. But what if we changed our view on emotional eating and went, okay, this is a really good, this is a really effective coping mechanism that you've learnt. You've learnt to kind of soothe your body through the use of food. And let's not forget, food is supposed to taste nice. We're meant to eat it and enjoy it. You know, there are some really quite amazing processes going on in our body when we eat that diet culture kind of completely ignores or tells us is like a figment of our imagination. So one element is, well, okay, what if we could you know, start to express how it is that we're feeling more effectively, that can help in our coping mechanisms. But also what if we are so, we're so used to being numb to our body that we don't even know what we're feeling at any one time. And this is what I see with working with women who have, have dieted for much of their life. They've so used to switching off and tuning out of their body, trying to ignore hunger and all these other feelings that are going on when we're effectively starving our body, that we kind of fall deaf to the cues. And so what ends up happening is our body starts yelling at you. And typically, you know, you know when you're flipping starving hungry, that's the moment where you're like, you don't give a shit what you're going to eat. It's like anything. Just give me food now. You eat it really quickly. And then it's like, oh, crap, I shouldn't have eaten all of that. You know, we'll often take notice when the warning lights in our body are flashing really loudly and brightly. But those more subtle nuance signs, 
we're, we get great at ignoring those because, hey, we're too busy. I haven't got time to think about that. All this other stuff's more important, whether it's other people or work or, or just life, you know? So in, did I say that already? I am, uh, talk about emotional eating. Um, I am running a challenge, you may or may have not heard, um, and it begins next Monday, and I'm really excited. And it's a free challenge, and it's taking place in my private Facebook group that is the Anti-Diet Community with Mel Wakeman. And this challenge is about taking away the shame and judgment of eating and helping you find a level of acceptance with A, your body, your food choices, your preferences, and how it is that you're feeling at any one particular time. So this isn't a place for judgment and criticising what foods we turn to, or, or booze for that matter, when we're feeling a little bit overwhelmed or out of control. This is about helping you learn what your body is wanting and needing, how to respond to your body's needs and kind of cues and signals, and ultimately creating a little mini toolbox of strategies that means that, hey, there may be times where you eat the whole chocolate bar, but other times you might think, you know what, I know that's not what I need right now. I need to go and do this, X, Y, and Z, things that we've worked out. So on Monday, we begin in the Facebook group. And if you sign up, you'll get a free workbook. Basically, it's an ebook that's got loads of kind of learning um, points in it around how to tune into your body, how to listen to it. Um, but also there'll be a, an activity, kind of a task and a reflection piece to do each day. So over the Monday to Friday, I'm going to help you explore your feelings, your emotions, how to connect with your body and ultimately how to find ways that are substitutes or alternatives, but effective ones to diving into the booze or the, or the food. I'm going to do a live interview, well, a live video in the group each night. OK, so this way, you know, it's like a live Q&A. You can ask me stuff, anything that you've kind of learned, any light bulb moments or questions that you've got during the day. That will happen Monday to Friday and we'll have a roundup in the following week as well for anybody that plays catch up. I'm also trying to book in some sort of expert interviews so you get some different perspectives and insight into the topic of emotions and emotional eating. Um, and ultimately there will be some prizes at the end as well. So if you've arrived at September and you're thinking, you know what, this, you know, I'm stressing out a little bit about the amount that I've eaten over the last couple of four, five, six months. I haven't done anything about it yet. It's never too late, never too late. So if it's been kind of bugging you, it's on your mind, you're thinking, you know what, this is a good month to do something for me. And come and join us okay we've got about 12 people signed up so already it's gonna be a nice little kind of intimate supportive group i've got a great community full of wonderful pe people in my private facebook group and we're just going to take each day as it comes and start to make some changes some really positive changes okay so if you're looking at finding kind of the roots the roots of your emotions um finding you know effective tools rather than don't just eat this eat that which never really works then i'm going to put a link in below the video just here yeah, my ears are going i'm going to put a link below the video that will allow you to sign up for it just need your email address and that means that i can email your workbook over and tell you how to get ready for the challenge and we are good to go next Monday. So everything will be available, videos will be recorded and stuff. So if you're not around, you know, kind of when you think you need to be, it's really flexible, okay? So there's no pressure for me about that, but come on in and see if you wanna learn and join me, okay? So lovely to see you. I hope your Monday isn't too meh and overwhelming um, and have a great day. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Take care, bye.